This week I headed down to Sumter, South Carolina to check in on the Gamecocks and first year head coach Reggie Kennedy. It's been since 1990 since they won a state title and Reggie Kennedy believes they're in striking distance. Yeah, I'm blessed to be here, Corey, and I'm blessed to have the opportunity to play for a ring um, after being in the defense for 23 years and chasing that dream of playing for a state championship and winning for a championship about to come true. Even though Coach Reggie Kennedy and the Gamecocks are not favored in this game, he has no problem being the underdog. Uh, went in upset, uh, number 13 team in the nation, um, Lexington, and went on and losing to uh, Burns in the semifinals. So um, this year when we got to the semifinals against Somerville, one of the things I told my coaches was that I, I don't want to be denied. I've been in this crossroads before. Coach Kennedy understands when you take a new job, it's very important that you hire an excellent staff. You got guys like Walt Wilson, uh, Ronnie Baker, John Jones, Doc Lewis, all these guys been head coaches before. So you got guys that know football and know how the operation should be ran. It makes your job a lot easier as a head coach. Uh, you know, it is about coaching, which I, I think is a lot about coaching and, and the system and finding out who can do what for you. But talk about some of the guys on the offense. You run a spread, uh, some zone read, do a lot of different things on the offense side. Just talk about some of your offensive guys. Who, who are we to look for on Saturday on the offensive side of the ball? I think everything starts with your quarterback. Your quarterback got to be comfortable in your system. Yeah, Kayan is probably our, our big play guy. A lot of speed, a little undersized, but he played big. Um, he what I call a gamer and uh, an impact player. He one of those guys, I want the football in his hand when the game is on the line, and I want his hand also when the game is on the line. <laughs> the one thing that Coach Kennedy understands is they're going to win a championship. They better play great defense. They'll have a tall order stopping Dutch Fork and Matt Colburn. But our best defense is our offense. Right. <laughs> so, so, you know, I don't think we're going to shut them down. Um, you know, I think we can get a couple stops. But I think it's going to be very important for us to be successful offensively um, and also be successful Saturday. But the man who's trying to stop Sumter's success, head football coach Tom Knott, who find himself back-to-back -back years for a run at the state title. This is very exciting to be going back. We hope to come out with a different result this time. Tell me about your offense. I mean, you're one of those untraditional. When you look at the landscape, the landscape of college athletics, a lot of spread, 12 personnel, 13 personnel for you big tight ends, old school football. I like 12 and 13 personnel. You know, I like to spread them thin. And then we got a great running back in Matt Colburn that can find the creases. He can run the zone. He can run the power. I always tell myself that uh, I'm going to be a hammer, not a nail. You know, I'm a go out there, you know, run north and south, you know, not east and west, you know, like lot some people do, and, you know, I'm going to be the first person to make the collision. The journey to williams Bryce Stadium has not been an easy one for Coach Knox. I tell you what, in the first round, we played a good athletic Fort Dorchester team and beat them soundly, and I think we got a little, uh, you know, just a little, a little kick, kick of confidence. And to help him get through that difficult journey, he has surrounded himself with five former Gamecocks. These five from South Carolina, they are great coaches. Mm -hmm. But they get here and uh, they bring that Gamecock spirit and uh, they, they get after it. You know, we know the trials and tribulations where a lot of other coaching staffs doesn't have that, that element of what we got. And yes, Coach Knotts could not let me go without taking a shot at me and the Spring Valley Vikings. That's Coach Knotts got a big game. Sorry we whooped you, son. <laughs> That's fine. Hey, you know what? That was a tough game, but uh, we're going to be there Saturday. It should be a great game, those guys. The underdog is something, but that's going to be a good one. Coach Knotts, Coach Reggie Kennedy, showdown at Williams-Brice Stadium.